Welcome to this tutorial where you will learn about Puritans and Samuel Sewell. Puritans In the early 17th century, thousands of English Puritans settled in North America, mainly in New England. Puritans were generally members of the Church of England who believed that the Church of England was insufficiently reformed, retaining too much of its Roman Catholic doctrinal roots and who therefore opposed royal ecclesiastical policy under Elizabeth I, James I, and Charles I of England. Here you can see a photo of a typical Puritan family. They defended the idea that humans should be reformed by God's grace. Interior of the Old Ship Church, a Puritan meeting house in Hingham, Massachusetts, Puritan were Calvinist. Therefore, accordingly with their values, they kept their churches on a dormant plane. It is the oldest building in a continuing ecclesiastical use in America, and today serves a Unitarian Universalist congregation. Samuel Sewell was born on March 28, 1652, and he died in January 1, 1730, who was a judge businessman and printer in the province of Massachusetts Bay, best known for his involvement in the Salem witch trials, for which he later apologized in his essay The Selling of Joseph, which criticized slavery. He served for many years as the Chief Justice of the Massachusetts Superior Court of Judicador, the province High Court. Apart from his involvement in the Salem witch trials, Sewell was somewhat liberal in his views for the time. In the selling of Joseph, for instance, he came out strongly against slavery, making him one of the earliest colonists abolitionists. The selling of Joseph was the earliest recorded anti-slavery talk published in the future United States. In it, Sewell argued, liberty is in real value next unto life. None ought to par with it themselves or deprive others of it but upon the most mature consideration. Well, this is all about Puritans and Samuel Sewell. I hope this tutorial be useful for you and thank you for your attention.